We start tonight with the major flooding in San Joaquin County. People living in a campo say a new pump system that opened just two years ago did not protect them. At ABC 10, we stand for you. So we went straight to county officials for answers. Here's Kurt Rivera in a campo tonight with what's next. In my backyard, my, my little shed, this, everything is flooding, everything. Jose Fernandez, like many a campo residents, stunned by the floodwaters that suddenly appeared in the dark early Monday morning. I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what happened. Just over 24 hours later, home after home, along with cars and driveways, still surrounded by water. It didn't get in my house, it got in the, in the neighbor's house here, and the neighbors in the back. A few years ago, the San Joaquin Public Works Department put in a brand new pump system to protect the campo from floodwaters. But some people say it didn't work. They should let all the water go to the, the, the underpass, let it fill up there, and divert the traffic and it, the people would have got flooded. In 2019, the San Joaquin County Public Works Department installed a nearly $2.5 million drainage system. Complete with an underground storage sump pump facility, it collected water into drains along roads and neighborhoods and meant to be diverted away from town. So what happened? Starting New Year's Eve, we had a, a, a big storm um, and it caused a surge of water into uh, a campo on New Year's Day. Fritz Buckman is public works director for San Joaquin County. He says on New Year's Eve, power knocked out the pump system for hours before a generator restarted the system. That coupled with a series of relentless storms and finally a huge surge of water into a campo Monday morning made the decision on where to pump the excess water difficult. Because of the downstream flooding conditions, we had to turn off the pumps for a while because we were starting to uh, threaten the freeway. Uh, and then uh, at one point, Caltrans, uh, uh, a couple hours later, Caltrans said, you know what, go ahead and, and continue pumping. We're going to close the freeway. And that happens uh, sometime late yesterday. But as of noon Tuesday, Buckman says the pumps were shut off again due to the threats of structures downstream. We knew this wasn't going to be a silver bullet that would uh, totally solve the flooding out there. Um, but I tell you, because we had the system in place, uh, it's a lot better than it uh, would have been if we had, it didn't have it. But making the system better can't come soon enough for those who are living through this nightmare disaster. Overall, I think it's overwhelming, too much water. So, which is good for the ground, I guess. So what next? The Public Works Department admits they do have more work to do. They plan to reach out to the community about future phases of flood control improvements. The Sacramento County Office of Emergency Services has lifted the evacuation warning for people living in the Wilton and Rancho Murrieta area. That section of the county has already been evacuated a number of times this winter because of the flooding on the Cosumnes River. Emergency officials tell people to stay aware conditions can change and to avoid flooded roads. President Joe Biden is making a trip to California on Thursday. He will visit the Central Coast to tour the damage after three weeks of back-to-back -back storms. Just days ago, he approved California's disaster declaration. It will provide federal funding for impacted areas. And keep in mind, you can go to a disasterassistance.gov for more information on applying for those relief funds.